to a hotel while he is traveling for work yeah why not that's super sweet I'm doing really well doing really well got lots of kisses from my husband already today I love his love I love his love it's it's like it, it's just like there's all 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 these really sweet little gestures like you know and, and seriously like they just they turn my crank so much um and and i say this to you guys make the minutes count make the minutes count oh my boyfriend works a lot I, we hardly ever see each other you know between school and work we never see each other you know distance we never see each other make the minutes count appreciate all the tiny little things that you have um thank you my love my husband today i went to go bring him his lunch i i you know found him in the shop phone rings he gets on the phone before I get to him so I come and I stand beside him and and I'll do that right when he's busy I just stand nearby um because when he's done doing what he's doing I'm gonna get some kisses tell him that his meal is there right so I'm just standing nearby he's on the phone and he's stroking my arm with his other hand while he's on the phone and it's just these like little sweet little gestures that he does they're they they mean everything to me because I notice them and I give them weight and this is how you make relationships really count. Now, be forewarned, don't create stories in your head. Like if you have a shitty boyfriend, um, don't give those little things weight. That's not it. My husband, the little things have weight because he also does the big things. I love your energy for love. I have so much energy for love. Uh, have you been to Alberta or Banff? I have not. They look amazing. I want to vis visit them. I'm jealous of Canadians. Uh, I've not been to Alberta and Banff, but I have been all over BC. What did you make him for lunch? Uh, so grass-fed beef um, and gluten-free noodles, onion, mushroom, carrot, and zucchini uh, in a broth. So I boil everything like I'll boil a whole chicken I'll you know those roasts I don't roast them I boil them so I boil them and that way I have a broth like mm, a super delicious broth and when I boil them I put like a lot of Himalayan salt pink Himalayan salt man, like a lot um and so like it's it's like really salty very flavorful broth and then I take the broth from boiling it and I use it as a seasoning or a soup base so I made soup with that broth. So beef broth soup, um, and then those veggies and uh, uh, grass-fed beef. He asked for time apart, should I worry? Very little communication. I heard him with my past trauma issues. I would suggest a coaching session if you want to bridge that gap. Um, and, and so we can discuss what happened. I can help you formulate a three-part apology that can help them understand that you understand and that's a very important factor and then help you develop a plan for having a better relationship. Love that you said not to make up stories. Too many people, including myself, do that. Yeah, I sure did too. I hope you're doing well. I am master chef. <laughs> I am the master chef at easy, easy. I'm not a cook. Um, if I could spend zero time cooking, I would be in heaven. Um, you know, but, uh, I certainly am the master at making it easy. Um, oh my God, I just purchased the year books. That's awesome. Uh, I am doing a 12 week program in August and, um, during that time I will be, I'm going to be bringing in a fitness and nutrition expert to teach us how to make better foods. I'm also going to be bringing you guys in on my own cooking process so that you can see how easy I make food. What's your favorite unhealthy snack? Mmm, -hmm, Doritos. <laughs> I haven't had them in so long. It's so bad. It's so evil bad. But yeah, Doritos. Oh, I just bought your No More Assholes book. Love it. Oh, I love you. I love you. I love that you guys love my books. I love that you love my advice. Advice for not taking things out on significant others. So what you were talking about here is um, impulse control, right? Uh, so first of all, to make impulse control easy, 
you change your brain structure, you shrink your amygdala, reduce your capacity to feel stress, fear, and anxiety. Because that's what you're talking about when you say taking things out on your significant other. You are collecting stress, fear, and anxiety. You are having an overabundance of stress, fear, and anxiety. And then you see your partner and you go, Bleh, to release the pressure. You use them as a lightning rod to release that pressure and that's not fair to them. So in order to not do that, thank you for what you're doing, you're so welcome. In order to not do that, you need to reduce your capacity to feel stress, fear, and anxiety to make it easier to um, resist the impulse to vomit your overabundance. They go together, resisting your impulse and actively reducing those emotions. They really go together to make it easier to not make your partner your lightning rod. So I really do suggest you get fixed that shit because that's what this book is all about, um, is removing conflict from your relationship by reducing your own negative emotions and being conscious of your behavior so you don't vomit into your relationship, creating more space for goodness in your relationship. And when your relationship starts getting filled with more goodness instead of more vomits, then you start feeling happier and it becomes this upward swinging effect. So meditation and resisting your impulses are the two very important factors, but there's a lot more in Fix That Shit and I really do suggest you get this book and read it and apply what's in that book. A lot of people have and they are getting really great results. This only works, by the way, if you're with a generous long-term thinker who loves you. Almost done reading Fix That Shit. Such a great book. My relationship has never been better. I love this stuff. Please, will you go leave a review on Amazon when you're done? Will you? Will you? Thoughts on sending pics to boyfriend? Um, be very careful and be very solid. Don't, don't do that to keep him interested, right? Don't do that to keep him interested. That you don't do. I bought Comeback Queen, but I've not read it. I'm still hooking up with my ex. No. Uh, my friend's boyfriend broke up with her. I said she needed to heal herself. Uh, offered help, and then he ghosted her. Dope. Oh, I love this. I bought Comeback Queen, Fix That Shit, and After the First Kiss. I love it. I will when I'm done. Thank you, my love. Yes, I will. Thank you, my loves. My loves. So just so you know, I do not take it lightly when you leave reviews on Amazon. Your words of affirmation are my love language. It means the world to me. Those of you who are shy, maybe want to be incognito on Amazon, you can leave stars if you don't want to leave words, but it all means so, 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 so much to me. I have big goals and you are part of my revolution. You are my love army. Any suggestions on how to respond when your partner deflects? Um, see, it all depends. It really does all depend. Uh, I would suggest you get a coaching session to get the tools you need to navigate these kinds of situations. This is one of those answers that's nuanced depending on the behaviors that are going on. Uh, you could try fix that shit, see if that helps. Can a particular boyfriend make you more insecure than you were before? Yeah, if you choose a selfish short-term thinker, definitely. Because selfish short-term thinkers want to step on you to elevate themselves. Um, so yes, choosing the wrong partner can have a very negative effect on your self-esteem. My husband ignores me after he is always cold and warms up. After what? Uh... I got broken up with two days ago because of his mental health. I still love him. What do I do? Let him go and get come back queen to heal your heart and then no more assholes to level up and get with somebody who has a better handle on their mental health. Is attraction a must in a relationship? Yes. But it's not a must in the in the beginning, right? In the very early stages, attraction can come as you get to know somebody and fall for who they are. This this is what I call the slow burn. When you know, like you, you like them enough to continue seeing them. It's, it's not like ooh spark, right? But then something, a piece of the puzzle falls in place, and that's it. That's it. You're over the moon. Um, but I'm 15 years with my husband, and I'm still very attracted to him. 
but one thing that you need to do in order to maintain that attraction is get in minimum two kisses a day for minimum five seconds each these kisses are an aphrodisiac amphetamine and antidepressant it really has you feeling good about your partner and keeps like some juiciness like daily intimacy in your relationship intimacy doesn't have to be sex intimacy is as simple as a lingering kiss but get those lingering kisses minimum two kisses a day minimum five seconds each to to have this intimacy in your relationship every single day really important to to, to keep you from falling into this vibe where your partner is your roommate. How do you get over the walking on eggshells feeling when your partner is around? Uh, I don't know why you feel that way. I would suggest you come get a coaching session for some help on that. Oh, he's cold after work and then he warms up. So he's just settling into home, right? So uh, here's what you do. First of all, detach your emotional roller coaster from his ride, right? Don't ride his ups and downs. Maintain your own level. We are all responsible for our own emotions. If you're gonna ride his emotional roller coaster, don't blame him, blame you, it's your fault. You are not detaching from his ups and downs. You are not being in control of your own well-being. So it's not his fault if you're riding his ups and downs, it's yours because you're not in control of yourself. Second, always make sure that he gets the same greeting when he comes home. Um, go to the door, give him a kiss. If he needs some space to settle in, give him that space to settle in, but always give him a warm greeting when he comes home. Create consistency with that. Re uh, seriously, unless the kids are literally on fire, greet him at the door with a kiss. Um, and then if he needs some space to settle into himself, then give him that space, go back, do your thing. Um, but, uh, that consistency is really amazing for relaxing the brain. And that's your goal in a relationship is the brain relaxation of your partner and yourself. Do get fix that shit so that you better understand yourself, how to manage your emotions and also how to understand your man. Uh, how do you know if you're with a generous long-term thinker? So there are 12 character traits that help you define that. No More Assholes has those 12 character traits if you want to grab that book to grade their paper. How do you know if an ex is using you? If you're giving them booty, stop. Say no kissing, no sex, no sleepovers. If that is why they stop seeing you, that means they were using you. You're welcome. So thankful I found you. You totally speak to my heart. I love you, Davi. Uh, boy boy's friend got upset because I like his friend. Do I continue to pursue his friend or just leave it? Do what you want. If he's a friend and he gets upset because you want to date somebody he knows, he's not a friend. He's a friend. So date who you want and your fake friends can fall off the planet if they're going to get upset about that. How many months in do people start to show their true colors? You have to give them a good two and a half months. That's why I say no kissing for three months. Um, no kissing for three months. There will be a lot that's revealed, not every single thing, but a lot will be revealed in that time. You're so welcome. Uh, guys, who wants a notification when I go live? Say, I do. You're so welcome. Who wants a notification when I go live? Say, I do. Do, 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 do. The guy I'm with is good quality man, but he doesn't show affection or compliment me. What do I do? Ooh, so affection is one of those things that's pretty important. I do. Okay, my I do's. Uh, click my picture up here once or twice. You're going to get a pop up, and the pop up is a bell. Click on the bell when you do that. Say, I just did. Uh,. Doesn't show affection or compliment me. So here's the thing for me affection is a fundamental value I do not want to be in a relationship with somebody who is not affectionate and not only affectionate Matches me on my level of affection because I'm very affectionate and I now that I've been with my husband who's so affectionate and touchy um, and petty and you know, just so connected physically. I never want to go back I never want to not have that so uh, it truly is a fundamental value for me. So if this is a fundamental value for you, 
you will suffer if you stay in a relationship with somebody who is not affectionate. The compliment thing to me that is easily overcome, um, you know, don't have amnesia. They've complimented you. I'm sure they've said you look good. So, uh, or, or you look nice, right? You show up, oh, you look nice, right? Um, it, even the, the offhanded ones still need to be remembered. They, they feel offhand to you because it's not effusive, but to them, that's still communication and it counts. And you need to be a word nerd and remember what they say. But with the affection part, that's a really tough one. You can do a love language quiz with them simultaneously and then exchange your results so you have a better understanding where physical affection is with them. It may be very low, whereas yours is very high. And this is something that needs to be seen by both of you so that you can communicate about that. And you can say, ooh, look how high mine is. Look how low yours is. Can we somehow meet in the middle? Do you think you can increase your level of affection seeing as how high mine is and how it can be very disconcerting to be an affectionate person and be in a relationship with somebody who's not affectionate? Do you have a PO box? I'd love to send you earrings. Yes, I do. Um, it's actually in the link tree in my bio. I think it says send me fan mail. I would, I'd love to get fan mail from you guys. I love your videos. You're awesome. Thank you. I just did love it. Welcome my loves. Uh, is it possible to learn from mistakes of others without having to go through them on my own? 19 years. Yes, my love. Read my books so that you don't have to make the same mistakes I did. Absolutely. Um, absolutely. Read no more assholes. Read fix that shit. Uh, if you don't know your purpose yet, read custom made. Uh, read say yes to goodness. If you want some very general but very soulful, soulful targeted advice, uh, read dating 101. Read my books. Learn from my mistakes. Don't make the same mistakes. I am your Sherpa, right? Like this journey, this love journey is like going to the top of Mount Everest. Not everybody survives the trip. You know what I mean? Um, and it is a complicated journey, but here's the thing. Once you get used to doing it, it's a whole lot easier. I'm a Sherpa, right? A Sherpa is the one who knows the way. I know where to put my feet. And not only am I strong enough to make it back to the top, I can carry your backpack too. And the burden that I carry for you is the burden of knowledge. You don't have to make the same mistakes I made. You can let me carry that burden and you can follow in my footsteps as I show you where to put your feet so that you don't fall off the side of the mountain. I thought we were going, oh, I thought we were going on a walk. I didn't change my text, you're right. Good afternoon love your videos just don't appreciate the farting the farting farts are funny i don't know what you're talking about i almost liked you and then you said that willie i'm sorry but if you don't think fights are funny i don't think i don't think we can be friends i love your hair thank you uh what are some of your advice to young women who want to be abstinent through their 20s um, you do you baby girl like honestly will that affect my growth and wisdom based on the lack of experience not dating in my 20s uh you're going to learn different things so i don't think it's going to affect your growth you're you're just you know people on different paths learn different things so if that's what you want to do i absolutely support you there's nothing wrong with being empowered and choosing what you want to do with your own body and choosing your own path that's totally fine my sister keeps pursuing unavailable men. What can she do to fix that? She needs to get no more assholes and realize that there is something better out there and use that no kissing for three months dating rule to maintain her space for the right person to step into instead of filling it with the wrong person over and over. Is marriage important? Um, not necessarily, but I do like being married. I do find it hits different but you don't have to be married in order to be happy yes do you because they will do them thank you for your helpful advice you're welcome uh if only i found you eight days ago i had your wisdom but maybe i didn't say things right oh i dumped him oh 
can we find your books anywhere other than Amazon? You can you, you can find my books anywhere you buy books online. I there are resellers selling my books on eBay. Um so eBay, Amazon, Barnes and Noble, Kobo, anywhere you like to buy books, you can pretty much find my books. Uh, you can walk into any bookstore and say, Hey, I want to order these books. You can get them in for me. They'll do that. Um yeah, I get a little bit more when you buy them on Amazon, but I won't hold it against you if you don't get them there. Uh, mm -hmm. Marriage is the number one cause of divorce. Do you know what the number one cause of death is? Living. So if you're interested in getting coaching with me, by the way, coaching is fantastic. If you are stuck on something, should I stay, should I go? How can I make things better? Uh, how can I bridge the gap because there's distance between us? Um, you know, we, we had a big fight. How can I bring them back in? Um, how can I get into a relationship? Whatever you are stuck on or confused about or anxious about, come get a coaching session. If you want to do that, go to my bio, click on the link tree, click the coaching button. It takes you to a page, read that carefully and check it out and see if that's right for you. Hello from New York. Thanks for all the great advice. You're so welcome. <laughs> Just bought your book, Fix That Shit. Thank you. You're so welcome. Uh, my friend found my boyfriend on Tinder and he says he doesn't have it. It's not him. Bullshit. 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 Uh, I'm casual with a guy, which I'm fine with, but there's a part in my head that can't relax. Is this normal? I don't know why. Thanks for the info. You're so welcome. I don't know why you're not relaxing. If you've done something wrong to your ex and he wants to break up, that's your ex. It's your ex. What can you do? It's your ex. They want to break up, then then they get, they have every right to make that decision. My ex invited me to the big party he's going to have on Saturday. I don't know if I should go. You don't have to if you don't want to, obviously. Obviously. Do I trust that it's not his Tinder? I wouldn't. I wouldn't. How do I make a narcissistic roommate contribute to cleaning? Uh, see, a narcissist is somebody who doesn't care about anybody but themselves. So you just got to hit them where it hurts. Uh, say, look, I'm sorry, but um, your rent is going up in order for us to pay for the housekeeper to do your part of cleaning up your mess and just state it as a fact the fact is the fact is we have to increase how much you pay in order to pay the person to clean up the mess you leave behind I can't shake the feeling he's talking to other people even though I shouldn't care I don't I don't know what that's about my love if that's a, if that's an ex or a current relationship if you need to sort out something, do get a uh, do get a coaching session. Is it okay for her to be talking to dudes that I don't like? One hundred fucking percent, because she is not your kid. If you're not going to have a peer peer relationship. So if your friends talk to somebody you don't like, are you going to impose something on them? If you don't stop talking to them, we're going to have a fight about it. Do you do that with your friends? Why are you treating your partner different? Your friends are a peer-peer relationship. If you want to tell your partner who to talk to and who not to talk to, that's a parent-child relationship. Don't do that. What if I've been friends with a man for years and we are not talking about becoming more than? I don't see anything wrong with that. You're welcome. What can I tell my friend who feels hopeless about love? He's 50. Uh, you can uh, 
you can get him a copy. Hello, Saman. Get him a copy of The Perfect Play so he can see that there's some amazingness out there. Guy I'm talking to keeps talking to girls he promises uh, me he won't talk to, so stop talking to him. Stop seeing him. The best predictor of future behavior is past behavior. He is not focused on you. You don't want to be in a relationship with somebody who's not loyal to you. So stop talking to him. We've been dating, is that the same one? Oh, so now it went from talking to, to dating. Uh, so now you are in a relationship with that person. So uh, these people that he's talking to, are they ego strokes? Is he flirting with them? We've been friends for years. So uh, anyways, if you want help with that, do come get a coaching session. We've been friends for years. Should I do the no kissing? No kissing for three months is I don't know you. I just met you. I have zero clue who you are. I have zero history on you. I haven't met any of your friends. Um, I need to know you for at least three months before kissing and starting a relationship with you. What do I do if I have a great partner but I'm not necessarily attracted to him? Do I stay with him? Are you doing those two kisses a day? Like minimum two kisses a day, minimum five seconds each? I'm afraid of doing long distance, but I found an amazing guy. I really see a future with him. I do have a free long distance guide for you in the link to my bio if you want to download that. How do I get a coaching session? Go to my bio, click on the link tree, click the coaching button. It's going to take you to a page. Uh, read the instructions if you want to book yourself in for a session. Will it work or for on different levels of intelligence? Do you enjoy the conversations? Do they make you laugh? We kiss a lot. Okay, well, if you want help with that, come get a coaching session. Are you supposed to be exclusive during the three months no kissing? No, the whole point of no kissing is no commitment. Because when we kiss as women, if, if I kiss somebody on the first, second, third, fourth date, and then the next day somebody says, hey, uh, can I take you out? I say, no, I'm seeing someone. Uh, which means I committed to a stranger. So the whole point of no kissing for three months is no committing to someone you don't know. No commitment means you should continue to talk to people. This isn't about doing one by one by one. This is about talking to multiple people simultaneously to see which one rises above the crowd. So guys, uh, in I, I need to rename this, but um, in August, I am doing a 12 week program. It is fitness, nutrition, business coaching, life coaching, relationship coaching. Uh, there's all kinds of stuff going on. We're doing two fitness classes a week with an instructor. You'll, if I have to do, if I have to exercise in between, you guys are gonna do that with me as well. Uh, we're doing one cooking class a week with uh, this same person. She's a fitness and nutrition expert. I'm also gonna be bringing you in on other stuff that I cook. Um, so, you know, there's there's three expert classes. Um, you can do it live with me or you can watch replay. There's also what I call a fireside chat. I'm gonna have special guests, bring special topics, do Q and A's with you. I'm also going to do a weekly soul session. This is going to be us, you know, really tapping into our abilities to manifest and calm our minds. So guided meditations, manifestations, intention setting every single week. Those are five classes that you get in your membership five lives or five replays, however you want to attend this every single week. You can do both the live and the replay, all to your heart's desire. Um, in addition to that, I'm gonna be launching a bunch of classes. So uh, relation, like how to stop fighting, um, how to navigate the no kissing for three months dating rule, how to launch a business and create a platform, how to market your business, writing books, publishing, these you get access to at 75% off. In addition to that, I am going to be giving you uh, coaching discounts. 
So if you guys want to come in on this and do these 12 weeks with me, there is an early bird sign up sheet. I'm going to give you 50% off the price. So if you guys want to take advantage of this, click that button that says three month lifestyle membership, add your name to that mailing list. Yes to the classes, right? Sounds like a lot of fun, a lot of things in the works, yes. Uh, what if I didn't wait the three months? How can I reboot? The, the No kissing for three months means no creating the chemical that is an aphrodisiac, amphetamine, and antidepressant that makes you think and feel some kind of way for somebody that you have no reason to think and feel that way towards because you don't know them well enough. How do you undo the chemical that you introduced into your body? I don't have an answer to that. It's kind of like saying, how do I uninject heroin from my arm? I don't have an answer to that. Uh, went through a breakout three months ago, just met someone amazing. How do I make sure this isn't a rebound? Use the no kissing for three months dating rule. Read no more assholes. Apply everything that's in that book. I love your makeup. Thank you. Thoughts on trying to rekindle a relationship after some trauma? Do it with the help of no more assholes. How do you establish boundaries in a relationship? Calmly and firmly. Should you ask a guy you're dating who he's been with in the past romantically and sexually? Uh, like who? I don't think you need to ask who. I think you can ask, you know, what, what have you learned from your past experiences? I think that's a much better question. I showed my man some of your videos and he is so grateful for what you taught me. Woo! I love this. Guys, just so you know, a red flag is if he doesn't like me. If you're seeing somebody, if your boyfriend doesn't like me, that is a red flag. How can I change a mindset of saying no one will have a relationship with me like I did with my ex? uh what what do you actually want to be saying to yourself like write it down what do you want to say to yourself what can you say to yourself that sounds like a successful sentence and every time you go into your negative mindset redirect to your successful sentence um another thing you can do is write through things you're grateful for over the course of 100 days so every single day three things you're grateful for and never double what you're writing down Glad to be back on your live. Hello, lovely. Tell your man I said hi. Excellent. Somebody coming in. Somebody getting some information on the lifestyle membership. Ooh, you guys, you guys, I can't wait for you to meet these experts. Um, I have a metabolism expert. I have a fitness and nutrition expert. Um, I also have a... Uh, what do you call it? The, the people who teach people how to move in a safe way at work so that they don't injure themselves or rehabilitate themselves after they injure themselves. What is that called? I've got one of those coming in as well. There's no excuse for a man to hit a woman ever, never. If he does it once, goodbye motherfucker. I'm not waiting for you to give you a second chance. No, no, no. They know better. There's not a single person on this planet that doesn't know better. No. Uh, so if you want to purchase my books, you can go into the link tree in my bio. You'll see there's a button there that says buy my books on Amazon. Yes, I have signed up, baby. Can't wait. Yes, Ahmad. Good stuff. Uh, what if a guy I like kisses someone else during the three month no kissing rule? So you don't want to get into a relationship with somebody who's not focused on you. That's the answer to that. Is it okay if my boyfriend slept with one of my best friends before we started dating? If it's okay with you. He owes me $2,000, what do I do? He lives with me? Sounds like you need to talk to a lawyer. 
Oh, girl, you got yourself in a really sticky situation. You might just have to kick him out of your life and count the $2,000 as a lesson learned. Um, but you are being taken in by a selfish short-term thinker and you're being fooled and manipulated and he's taking and taking and taking. It's time for you to cut your losses, get him out of your life and, and say, you know what, the, like, try to get the $2,000 from him, but I doubt you're going to get it because you gave $2,000 to a selfish short-term thinker. Never, never be with somebody who fucking needs your money. If he's not working hard enough and is responsible enough to have money in the bank for what he needs, goodbye, motherfucker. You're not here to pick up children and take care of children. If he's not a man, he doesn't belong in your life. So now he's a leech living in your house, talking to other girls, gaslighting you till you show him the proof. Get him out ASAP cut your losses stop saying oh i'm going to give him time to give him the money you were stupid enough to give him the money it's going to end up being your loss but stop losing another day stop losing another day uh should i show him that i hacked a snapchat he wasn't supposed to have that and i caught him who fucking cares you're with a selfish short-term thinker stop losing another day stop losing another minute over him get him out of your house get him out of your life those two thousand dollars baby girl you gave it to a liar what do you expect you're not going to get it back that's the cost that is the cost of being dumb enough to let a selfish short-term thinker take and take and take and you need to learn from this it's a hard lesson but you need to learn this and you need to say you know what no more I, I'm, I'm not going to suffer another day. I'm not going to believe another lie. I'm not going to give him another moment of my availability and convenience. He has to go. And you know what? That $2,000, that's my kick in the ass to not get caught with another selfish short-term thinker again. He woke up this morning crying that he's going to lose me and he won't betray me anymore. Blah, 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 blah. How many more lies are you going to fall for? How much more bullshit are you going to believe? How much more money are you going to waste on him? How much more time are you going to let him sleep under your roof and take advantage of you? So do you, my love, do you, but don't come here and complain about the choices you make because that's not what I'm here for. I'm not here to support your choices when you choose to keep a selfish short-term thinker. I'm not here to cry, you know, to rock you at night and help you go back to sleep after you lose another $500 to this guy and go, man, I was hoping you'd give me back my 2000, but you said I need another five to go get the work to give me back the 2000. Now I'm out $2,500. Stop letting him take advantage of you. If they lie, cheat once, and are forgiven, they will do it again, sometimes. I mean, if it's such a, can you elaborate on how to bring back the warm fuzzies? Um, you have to do what's in that book, manage your emotional roller coaster, stop being reactive to him, be consistent so his brain relaxes, and get two kisses in a day, minimum five seconds each, repeat, 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 day after day, it was, listen, my husband and I fought for 10 years. I don't know how long you and your husband have fought for, but uh, it did take a few years for us to get into this place that we're in now, which is happy, happy, happy. Um, but you, you know, if you picked a generous long-term thinker who loves you and you're consistent with these behaviors, then you really do start reversing the damage that was done and recreating something new and beautiful. You're right. I know you're right. Thank you for the honesty. You're welcome, my love. I, I, I don't, I don't, listen, I'm softer on coaching sessions than I am on lives. Um, but when it, you know, when I see something like this, you got to hear the truth. You got to hear the truth. And, and I, I want you to take that and I want you to run with it and I want you to change your life. Please get no more assholes. Look at those 12 character traits. You're going to see how far far behind a man this guy is i want you to kick him out use that no kissing for three months dating rule i guarantee you didn't use it with this guy guarantee you didn't and he took advantage of you get him out of your life use that no kissing for three months dating rule read no more assholes never let somebody who is not a man back into your life don't kiss anybody who's a guy ever again because they will continue to take advantage of you
No, I didn't. You're right. I know. Listen, I got taken advantage too. I don't. I don't. I don't. I. I I'm not holding myself above you guys. I picked the cheaters. I picked the hitter. I know. I've. I've, I've lost money. I've lost money. I've lost vehicles. I have lost so much shit to guys. It's unbelievable. I'm done. I know what I'm talking about, but you have to say no more. You gotta be, you gotta, you gotta know more. You, you gotta know more the shit out of this girl. You really have to know more the shit out of this. What do you think of people who think it's a red flag that they can't find somebody in their own state? I, I just think they're too narrow-minded. You're amazing, thank you. How often do you consume alcohol? Uh, depends. You know, sometimes I'll go months and months without like a single drop. And then I'm not quite sure what happens, but you know, for a week or two, I'll have a glass of wine every day. Um, or sometimes a month or two, right? Um, or, or almost every day. Um, but more often than I'm, than not, I'm not drinking alcohol. More often than not, I'm not. Like for most of my life, I barely ever drank. And then I went into a really deep depression. I drank wine every day, almost every day for years. Um, and then I came out of it and then I was relatively sober. I have like dips every now and then where I'll be like, oh, you know what, bottle of wine. And, it, you know, it'll take me a few days to finish it, but I'll, f I'll finish it on my own. Can you be in a relationship with someone you're not attracted to physically? I mean, you can if you want, but I am attracted to my husband. We've been together for 15 years. So um, I think attraction is an important part of a relationship, right? Um, my friends, I love them. I cuddle them. They're amazing. Don't want to be with them, right? Not attracted to them that way. Uh, my husband, <laughs> right? I just think about him as like, ooh, that man, right? Like, and that's what I want for you. Like, when you think of your partner, you're like, mm-hmm, <laughs> right? Like, just the thought of him just, like, lights your face up. So I do think attraction is important. I don't think they need to be attractive. I just think you need to be attracted to them. So my husband, you know, I was not attracted to him at first. It, it built and built and built. So that's what I call the slow burn. And now it's just like, mm, baby, right? Like, <laughs> I just... I'm just, I'm thinking about him right now, at work right now, in his blue onesie. Mmm, baby. Just, he's the man. He's my man. I love that man. Uh, how do you put aside insecurities? Seriously, fix that shit of Chantal has helped me tremendously, too. It's amazing, learning girl. I love you guys. I love you guys. Oh, you guys watch my lives together, reading a face that shit together. I love that. Hello, welcome. Uh, do you support the if he wanted to, he would statement? We need we need to have allowances in that, right? Like, you know, I, I, my husband owns a business. I can't say uh, if he wanted to, he would in terms of spending more time at home with me. Uh, he should be coming home at 11 o'clock at night. If he wanted to, he would, right? Instead of coming home at 12, 31 o'clock. Um, we need to take people into uh, consideration when we say that. If he wanted to, he would go out and buy me flowers. My husband works 80 to 100 hours a week. I'm not going to tell him if you loved me, you would go buy me flowers. So you really need to think about how you're looking to apply that in what way you were thinking if he wanted to, he would. Is it the Disney story? That's fucked up. Don't do that to yourself and to your partner. Don't create tests. If you love me, you would do that. Don't do that. Um, really be conscious instead of how your partner shows up for you, how they show their devotion, how they show their loyalty, how they show you how much they love you. Love is a verb. Love is what we do. Just because you're not buying flowers doesn't mean they're doing fuck all. My husband takes very good care of me, never buys me flowers. So we need to be careful about how we're applying that. Do, 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 do. 
Oh, I'm not worried about him, no. Um, he is very conscious. Somebody's like, oh my God, are you worried about him? That's so much work. I know he does work very long and hard, but he is also very self-aware. So he, he does take care of himself as well. He pushes himself, but he also takes care of himself. His way of, of managing his health, obviously having me feed him because I feed him very well and he listens to me. I say, baby, no outside foods. There are drivers who will bring him pastries and I'm like, no, you can't have that. So he tells them, he says, don't bring me that. My wife says no. Um, so between the two of us, we make sure he eats a very healthy diet. But in addition to that, he does hyperbaric therapy, which is oxygen therapy. Basically oxygen heals. So, you know, the damage that he's doing to his body by working so hard and we're almost 50. Um, he really manages by doing a sort of therapy that is intense, intensely healing. Like people who've had strokes or um, concussions, uh, diabetes, where it's eating away at your flesh, basically. Um, all kinds of wound healing happens with hyperbaric therapy. Would you move across country, leaving family and friends and everything you know just for the chance at love? Um, I, if my husband wanted to move across the country, I would say, okay, baby, <laughs> all right, okay, baby. Um, I love him very much. If he decides that's the next best move for him, I support him and I would, I would do that. My husband is not an underwater diver, but we do have the machines that undo the bends. We do have that. You look so young and healthy, so beautiful. Thank you. I was drinking alcohol for a little while. I went into like one of those dips. I did I did drink uh, alcohol for like the past few months on a quasi regular basis and I did notice that it made my skin drier, um, which is part of the reason why I like to avoid alcohol because it does age me really fast. Um, and uh, I've been off it uh, like, um, I, I hadn't, I, I didn't have any drinks for a week or so or more and then my diet came the last weekend he brought, oh my God, did he bring four bottles of wine? I, I think he brought, yeah, he brought four bottles. Yeah, he did. We drank two bottles the first night and then we drank the other two bottles the next night. Um, so we drank four bottles of wine over four days um, and, uh, and I haven't had anything to drink since. So over the past few weeks, four bottles of wine, my skin is going back to looking young again. So that explains that. I like how you keep yourself from being reminded of it. Like, how do you keep, oh, sorry, you, no, no puzzle pieces. How do you let go of all the fighting and betrayals of the past with your husband? So by being in the present. And so that that's called getting over resentment. And I do address how to get over resentment and fix that shit because that was part of our healing process is both of us needed to let go of resentment, but I did it first and I modeled that behavior and then he was able to follow suit. Do you get involved with kids' relationships? Like his kids' relationships? I don't get involved in anybody's life that doesn't invite me to get involved in their lives. What do I do when my boyfriend uh, gets mad after I say something about how he's on his phone when we talk? Uh, that's a coaching session, my love. If you wanna learn how to deal with particular circumstances, that would be a coaching session. What is Comeback Queen about? This is the book that helps you heal after breakup. Lovelies, hello my loves, hello my newbies. Who wants a notification when I go live? Say I do. Who wants a notification when I go live? Say I do. What's my opinion on relationships where there's a 10 year age gap? As long as the youngest is 25 and up, I don't care how big the age gap is. It doesn't matter. Hello from Jamaica. Hi. Looking beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. I do. Okay, my loves. Uh, here's what you're going to do. Click my picture right here once or twice. You're going to get a pop-up. In the pop-up is a bell. Click on the bell. When you do that, say, I just did. Guys, uh, for my newbies, my new loves, hello, welcome. I wrote nine books. Does anybody want me to do a book walkthrough giving a short description about what each book is about? 
another Canadian. Love your dress. Thank you. It's a mini dress. It's all like, it just sucks. It's just, I haven't worn a mini dress in ages. Uh, there's no way around it. I definitely have to leave him. Yes. You have to kick him out. Uh, if you're living with him, you leave. If he's living with you, kick him out. Get him out now. Immediately. Go. You pay nothing more for him. You do You do nothing to support him. It's over. You're gone. You have to go. I'm 64. He's 31. Ooh, that sounds juicy. Yes. Yes, we want to book walkthrough. Okay, let's do a book walkthrough. So short description about each of my books. Uh, okay, so Come Back Queen is a book that's gonna help you get over a breakup, put your heart back together and heal. No More Assholes is going to help you find your next partner. This is the one that stays, you guys. No more selfish short-term thinkers, um, no more wasting time, no more takers, no more users. Uh, men, I got your version. It's called The Perfect Play. This is one that's going to help you get into a relationship with a generous long-term thinker. No more users, no more takers. Ladies, after the first kiss, it's going to help you solidify this relationship, your new relationship. Make it awesome from the get-go. Um, iconic. No more assholes. That's right. Uh, so after the first kiss helps you transition from courtship to reality phase without going into an insecurity phase because you're prepared for all the changes taking place. This is especially helpful, um, by the way, if you are dating a single dad, I teach you how to deal with baby mamas. Um, guys, I do teach you how to meet, meet his parents, all that kind of stuff. Uh, fix that shit. This is a book that removes conflict from your relationship. Get to zero fighting. Yes, you do want to. Yes, it is amazing. Yes, I know it's not normal to not fight, but I'm telling you it's so much better. I know this from experience. Hubby and I fought for 10 years. We haven't had a single fight in five years. I teach you how to achieve that. When you stop fighting, your relationship gets much more magical, like unbelievably good. I love this. Can we purchase any of these on Indigo? Yes, you can. You can get my books on Amazon or anywhere you buy books online. I do get a little bit more if you buy it off of Amazon. If you want an audiobook, Fix That Shit is now an audiobook, but you can only get it through the link tree in my bio. Custom Make goes really well with Fix That Shit if you're being codependent. This is a workbook which means after every chapter, you will be doing exercises because every chapter I introduce a concept and then get you diving into it and thinking about it. Um, I teach you what your purpose and passion is if you don't know what it is, and then I teach you how to monetize it. So if you're being codependent, it means you're making your partner your purpose. You need to make your purpose your purpose. If you don't know what your purpose is, get this book. Um, yeah, I just got a hundred dollar gift card from a student. I love it. Use it. Use it. Dating 101. This is understanding the drives, behaviors, and emotions behind love. I did write this with the intention of this being into every high school and being used for sex ed. So parents get this for your teenagers. I don't swear in this book. Uh, fake love need not apply. How to avoid posers, losers, scammers, and predators. This is a free ebook. If you hit that free book button in the link to my bio and then say yes to goodness. Uh, 10 Steps to Complete and Happy You. This is talking about life, you guys. I mean, your life inside and outside of relationships. Be happy. Be happy. You do great service by helping people. You have a great day. Thank you. You too. What did you and your husband fight over? Um, he's a baby daddy. He's a very good man, which means he understands that the happiness of his children trickles down from the parents. And so he worked very hard to make baby mama happy so that the kids would be happy. That created a lot of insecurity in me because um, they were like having sex together up until three months before him and I got together. Um, she wasn't over him. She still wanted him to want her. She competed with me. She was quite a bitch towards me. Um, literally, uh, you know, we go to hockey tournaments and we go up to her, she'd come up to us afterwards and she'd be like this far away and ignore me and live talking to my husband and just ignore me like I don't exist and I go hi Bev and she wouldn't say anything and I go hi Bev like what the fuck what the fuck so uh yeah so it's just my my brain was just exploding in all kinds of negative emotions about all of it all of it 
So yeah, we did a lot of fighting. Are we going for a walk? I know, I didn't change the text in my, I forgot. We might go for a walk later, by the way. Is Comeback Queen all about self-love stage before seeking? Uh, oh, I, I, I need to answer Nima. Um, so Comeback Queen is healing your heart after a breakup. So self-love, definitely getting you to do those things. Um, getting you to do those things that uh, really get you focused on your healing. No, I don't play video games. Uh, what's the name of the book in dating a dad? Oh, after the first kiss. After the first kiss. It's uh, this one right here. After the first kiss. Which one is my favorite book? Fix That Shit because I was fixing the shit while I was writing Fix That Shit. Um, I need to... Can you read the top paragraph of a random book on a random page? Book walk through? Book walk through? Uh, give me a second. Let me read this email. I have a, a client who's doing the five sessions plus support. So I need to be attentive when she sends an email. Okay. Sorry, guys. Um, on to the next. So she just broke up with somebody. Uh, okay. Nice and sweet. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, sorry about that, you guys. The paragraph of Fix That Shit. I was thinking about Fix That Shit. Yeah, so Book Roulette, for those of you who are new to this, um, I, I, I play this with my regulars. So Book Roulette is when uh, you guys yell out a random book. Um, sometimes people get really specific. They say page number. Uh, and then I open the book and I read out a random paragraph. So... Another thing I do is teach women how to communicate with men so they're heard. A trick to remember here is the art of few words. See, because their brains process a quarter of the words we do, using too many to get a message across only complicates what we're saying. Consider this. I need you to take out the garbage tonight because I dumped some old leftovers and I don't want it to smell by tomorrow morning. And you know how much I hate getting up and having to deal with the stinky kitchen. Compared to this. Hey baby, can you take out the garbage tonight? Thanks, my love. For them, it's the difference between please take care of this for me and wah 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 wah. Our brains are functioning at a faster, more frantic pace than theirs. Simplifying our behaviors around them makes them feel more at home than asking them to become as complicated as we are. And for the sake of harmony, finding it within us to become quieter and more to the point is working with their brains instead of against it. <laughs> the guy and I were friends with benefits. Uh, he's 20, I'm 27. He's now taken. Is it a bad idea? to hang out if he still asks for pics? What kind of pics? Sexy pics? And he's got a girlfriend? So he's cheating on his girlfriend? Do you want that karma in your next relationship? Do you wanna be with somebody and that person is asking another girl for pics? Are you gonna be okay with that? If the answer is no, then don't partake in it because that's the energy you're putting in your own path. My boyfriend has ADHD, is generous, but overcommits and gets overwhelmed. Would coaching help us communicate? I do believe so, yes. Which of your books do you recommend for afraid of vulnerability, holding back, and lacking communication? Fix that shit. Fix that shit. 
ゥルルゥルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルル Um, the, the biggest one is helping people undo their inner dialogue, right? Because that can, you know, it, it can really affect our decision making. And some people had some very negative inner dialogue、um, happen from when they were a child, like, like one person saying repetitively, You're not good enough, you're not good enough, you're not good enough. And, and they have to undo that. And, and so it's, you know, sometimes the hardest thing is getting your voice. In the voice that you want to use, not your parroting voice, but the voice you want to empower yourself with, you know, it's, it's,、um, it really is a lot of work to get you to develop your own voice and stop parroting what other people have put into your subconscious.、Uh, what is the process for your coaching sessions? Do couples do it together? What does that look like? So I work with. Couples a lot, but very often only one person showing up. My husband has never read Fix That Shit. I don't need two people to have an effect on a relationship.、Um, I just need one person willing to be the emotional leader. So、uh, if you're in a relationship and you want couples coaching, you can show up alone if your partner doesn't want to come. I don't need both people.、Uh, if your partner wants to come get a session on their own or the two you want to show up together, By all means, do it any way you want to do it. I work with, with how you want me to work with you.、Uh, how long do you meditate? Do you do it daily? So, my average is about 20 minutes a day. So, if I skip a day, I make up the time.、Uh, what book would you recommend for overcoming jealousy and insecurities? So, Your best bet for overcoming jealousy and insecurities is to take my No More Insecurity program. This is designed to deprogram you because jealousy and insecurity is your way of thinking and being right now. And you need to understand how to be a different way. That means how to think a different way so you feel a different way, so you behave a different way. This is a process. Um, your, your most efficient way of tackling this process is to come get one on one coaching with me. Is it wrong to ask to look in his phone? So, this whole thing about looking in other people's, home, other people's phones is to satisfy curiosity.、Um, integrity is what people do when no one's watching. And so, we, we want to know like, what do you do when no one's watching? Yeah, I, I do have a website.、Um, and so, that's why we ask to look in their phone. Curiosity is fine, but once you do that and you see what you see, and if they're trustworthy and, and they're not entertaining people who are、uh, you know, trying to get their attention in a sexual way,、um, they don't entertain that in any way, shape, or form. When you see that, then the next time you want to look at their phone and ask to see their phone, this is what you need to say to yourself I know what I need to know. And you self soothe. And boyfriend goes to me, it's been three weeks. If he comes back, is it worth giving another chance? It doesn't sound like this is your boyfriend at this time.、Um, don't be in a relationship with somebody who's not in a relationship with you. So,、um, you know, end of the day, I do suggest you get a coaching session to understand how to navigate this. But this doesn't sound like you're in a relationship, my love. Um, and if he comes back, is it worth giving another chance? I wouldn't do that without getting a coaching session so that I can assess who he is, what is happening, whether this is a selfish short term thinker, and how you should proceed. Just because you want to be with them doesn't mean you should be with them. So, my website is canadasdatingcoach.com, by the way.、Um, if you hit the coaching button in the link to my bio, it does bring you to my website.
very interesting that you don't need both people. Any other advisors told me that you need both. If you are with a generous long-term thinker who loves you, we are monkeys designed to imitate. If you start practicing functional relationship tools, your partner who loves you is unwilling to see you outgrow them and leave them behind. If you become functional, they will not stay dysfunctional if they want to stay with you. If your condition of staying with you is look at my behavior for the past three months and how I've been in the moment and not swimming in the past, not bringing the past up, but always in the present moment, taking care of my mental well-being and looking towards the future with optimism. You see that I've been doing this for the past several months. If you stay stuck in the past, if you keep being dysfunctional, while I keep doing the functional things, I will outgrow you and I will leave you behind. And they wake the fuck up and they go, I need to be different. I've been watching her be different for three, four months. I need to be different too. And they start following your lead. But you cannot demand. You have to show. And you have to do these things for the right reason, not as a manip manipulation. I had somebody the other day said, I've been doing these things for two days and he hasn't changed yet. Then you're doing it as a manipulation. Your eye is not on him. Your eye is on yourself and your own behaviors and you choosing the right behaviors because they are the right thing to do. And you release the outcome. And that is how you keep the focus on yourself and your own evolution. And that is how you show and not demand. If you tell him he needs to change, but you have not changed, it's not fair. You're breaking my number one relationship rule, which is it's not fair to ask for anything you're not willing to do first. Good places or ways to meet new people? Online. Online really is the place to go right now. Uh, guys, who wants a notification when I go live? Say, I do. Is it normal for a man to need a couple of hours to himself every time there's an argument between us? Yes, it is. It is normal for people to want to cool down and regain their thoughts and emotions and put themselves back in a good place. That's totally fine. What you are talking about is a symptom of conflict. If you want this to stop, remove the conflict. If you want to remove the conflict, then you can grab fix that shit and do what's in that book. Okay, my I do's, my I do's. Here's what you're gonna do to get a notification when I go live. Click my picture here once or twice, you're gonna get a pop-up and the pop-up is a bell. Click on the bell. When you do that, say, I just did. I just did, holla. Um, also, oh, also go into your settings on TikTok and make sure that your notifications are turned on for when your favorite content creator goes live and uh, go into your settings on your phone and turn on your notifications for TikTok as well in there. I have relationship OCD. Do you have any advice on how to heal from that? I would suggest you come get coaching or get fix that shit and do what's in that book. This fix that shit does teach you how to calm your emotions, manage your behaviors, and read your partner properly so that you understand them better. <laughs> you're the best thank you worst date i've been on i'd have to think about that because most of my dates have been fine most of my dates have been fine uh Do you also do coaching for non-romantic couples, like platonic relationships? Uh, yeah, all the time. Um, I'm a life coach. I niche in dating and relationships, but I'm a life coach. So I have people who come to me for all kinds of things. Thank you, you're so welcome. Thanks for the great point. What training do I have? What do you mean? Uh, got stood up by this guy because his mother had to go to hospital. Is he a mama's boy? No, his mom had to go to the hospital. Uh, yeah. 
So, no, 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 no. His mom had to go to the hospital. If your mom had to go to the hospital, would you be like, hey, yeah, about that about that movie we had planned, uh, I gotta go see my mom in the hospital. Would you not, well, would, would you, I mean, seriously, would you not do that? Where did you get your knowledge? Oh, um, so mostly self-taught, mostly self-taught. I've been diving into sociology, psychology, anthropology, biology for over 20 years. Um, you know, philosophy, behaviorism, spirituality, over 20 years. I've been teaching and practicing this for decades. Um, people have been coming to me for this for decades. All I did was brand. I'll write books and brand myself, create a platform, YouTube channel, website, um, TikTok, and just, just started saying, hey, you know, instead of like just doing this for the people who know me, I started doing this for everybody and anybody. Favorite outfit by far, girl. Mm -hmm. We got some classy styles tonight. Ooh la la. I feel like I love my partner more than he loves me. Is that normal? Yeah, my, my husband would say the same. My husband would say that he loves me more than I love him. And can you imagine? Because you guys see how crazy I am about him. Who here knows? Who here would say she is crazy about her husband? Uh, I would call, we didn't call it until five hours later. I've heard every line in the book at this point from this particular person or in general. Um, if you're wondering how to proceed with people, do get coaching, my love. Do, 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 do. In general. So don't lump him in with the general, right? Like we are all individuals. Uh, you're welcome. You're welcome. Everybody is a case by case, right? Use a no kissing for three months dating rule. Don't just be talking to one person at a time. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. Don't let somebody you don't know disappoint you. You are in love with your hubby. I am very in love with my hubby. As much as I love him, he loves me more. As much as I love him, he loves me more. I so am. That's my man. He's such a good man. Oh, he's such a good man. Ah, oh, I love his love. Love his affection. Love his cuddles. Be very appreciative of who he is and what he does for you. I really am. Uh, I was sharing your three month no kissing rule to the girls at work. What did they say? That's all right, thank you so much. Your love story is sweet, yes. I want this for you. I want this for you, my love. This is why I do what I do every day. I, I, I do this so hard every day because I'm on a mission to create so much goodness. They thought I was crazy, but I told them it works. Yeah, girl, it sure does. I, wouldn't, I would not be with this man today if I used a no kiss, if I had not used a no kissing for three months day year old, I would not be with my husband today. I wouldn't. I'd be somewhere else. I would be somewhere else. Uh, I guess I should answer when he calls again. Yes, lovely. Uh, that's what she said. I sent them your way. Good stuff. Love this. I love this. You guys are giving me such amazing feedback about how you're having conversations with people, how you guys are using my language, dump the motherfucker, selfish short term thinker. I love this revolution. How old were you when you met your husband? Uh, 32? 32? Yeah, I think about 32. Oh, Maggie, Miss Maggie. You're welcome. You're welcome, lovelies. Lovelies, don't forget to go follow me on Instagram because every, every, every month I give away a one hour coaching session. Are you looking forward to any holidays? No, I don't want, like, so my dad was visiting for four days. Um, I did one live in four days. I, I don't like not working. It was hard not working. I was eager for my, I love my dad, I do. But I, you know, day four, I'm like, when are you leaving? Uh, because I just wanted to get back to work. 
Uh, I don't need, it's, you guys asked me the other day, you're like, uh, what are your hobbies? And <laughs> like, I, I read it, I, um, I asked my husband, I go, baby, what are my hobbies? And he laughed and he goes, this is your hobby. This is my hobby. This is what I do for fun. Um, I don't, I don't want to take a break. I don't want to go anywhere. If, if I went somewhere, it would be to work. Um, I, I, I've honestly, I have been dreaming though about taking like a little getaway, like, like going somewhere tropical and beautiful and, and still just working every day. Um, so somewhere with really good Wi-Fi, or if it didn't have good Wi-Fi, then just like really focusing on writing for a number of days, but it would still all be about work. I, I would go somewhere and it would be about work. Last boyfriend kissed me before three months when I wasn't expecting it. I didn't know your role then. Uh, is it a big deal if a man doesn't want to get married but wants a long-term relationship? So it's a big deal if you want marriage. So if you want marriage, and that's a fundamental value, you absolutely want to get married, then this is not a match for you. Yes. You were good. You were so good working with us girls. Oh, lovely. I love you. What are some point blank characteristics of a selfish short term thinker? Bad with money. Not hardworking, right? Like just does the bare minimum, complains about his responsibilities, controlling, uh, right? Controlling, jealous, insecure. Have you seen her dude book? I have a dude book. I would go the flights are cheap now. Oh, this is a great forum. Yes, we got good people here. How do I get him to let his walls down? You got to get fixed that shit and do what's in that book and create emotional security in your relationship. And then when people feel emotionally secure, then they relax. And now you get more communication, more affection, you know, a desire to spend more time with you. Everyone needs breaks away from everyday life. And I go take mine, right? Like even like a walk in the woods for me, that's like a break. My boyfriend is all those. Oh no, he gets to go. He gets to go. What? And you're one of my moderators. What you doing? Why are you with a selfish short term thinker? Why haven't you ended that yet? What's going on, my love? My dude book, my dude book, you know, uh, Life really works out in some really cool ways, really cool, funky ways. Uh, so here's no more assholes and here's a girl holding up a heart. And then this is the cover that I created for the perfect play, which is the men's version. And look, the heart, the heart she's holding is going to fit into, is going to fit into his. Isn't that sweet? Because I need help. I know, I know. Girl, take the leap. Take the leap. Ooh, somebody just bought a rich Pendlebury. Uh, Non-boyfriend update. My interview went well. They want me, and I'm on the road to a better life for me. That's beautiful. I'm so proud of you. Good job. Good job, love. That is sweet. You've helped me increase my self-confidence. Yes, look at you. Do some yes goodness. Thank you. Like, just sit in the gratitude, take a moment, be in the gratitude, relax in the gratitude, enhance the gratitude, grow the gratitude, inhale the gratitude, yes, goodness, thank you, right? Just really take some time and feel it. This is how you manifest even more goodness in your life, by vibrating with the goodness. The more you vibrate with your goodness, the more goodness you create. I'm here just to listen. You're the good angel on my shoulder. I love that. Uh, when you love what you do, you never work a day in your life, right? Every, oh, oh, somebody's having trouble. Uh, that's right. Uh, I got introduced to your site and books from a friend. I was looking at your services, but hoping for a bit of advice. Do, do. Curious to think if I'd benefit more from the No More Insecurity course or the five sessions. Hopefully this helps a bit. Let's see. Let's see. Did you read The Secret? I didn't need to. Um, people were telling me what was in the book and I was like, oh, I know that. Um, 
and that's that's on universal knowledge by the way uh, when you tap into universal knowledge, a lot of us get the same downloads of information. You look fabulous. Thank you. Uh, I'm not good at trying and doing new things. I think that's why I stay in bad situations. There's also a glitch in our brain that seeks the familiar, even if it's bad for us. So stop staying in what is familiar just because it feels comfortable. Do what's better. Rise above your biological body and go into your logical mind. Start making those decisions no matter how you feel about them. Don't wait for it to feel easy. Not going to happen. You got to do it. Uh... Okay. I would recommend the five session plus support package comma because it keeps your momentum going period as you go through your dating journey you can send me screenshots of the messages that you get and I can clarify what the people are trying to communicate comma and how you should respond period I always say it's easier for me to tell you the next step than it is to help you undo something you shouldn't have done, period. That's why this particular package is so beneficial, period. For our sessions, we can address the issues you listed below, comma, like how to navigate dating and how to increase your confidence as you are doing this, period. As a behaviorist, one of my strengths is being able to understand and read people's intent, comma, and I will help you use a no kissing for three months dating rule, which will help you eliminate the ones who are in your vicinity for the wrong reasons, period. This will also increase your trust in yourself, period. Sorry, guys. Okay, can you please read the message I sent you? I really need your help. Where? Uh, can you give me traits of a generous long-term thinker? Um, so generous long-term thinkers are very hardworking. They are the ambitious, hardworking ones. Um, so very ambitious, very hardworking. Also, they don't try to control you. They they are individuals they want you to treat them like an adult and they treat you like an adult 
Uh, the 12 character traits that help you understand if they're a generous long-term thinker or a selfish short-term thinker are in No More Assholes. Uh, how do you get someone to understand the hard work aspect? I work many hours like your husband. So when you like you need to choose somebody who is hardworking because somebody who is not doesn't understand work ethic um, because it's not something they choose to practice themselves. Um, so your best bet really, oh look at that, they bought a whole bunch. Elisa, that's awesome. Um, you know, if you want somebody to under like really understand, it's hard for us to conceptualize something we don't actually experience. So if you really want somebody to understand, then you want to be with somebody who does practice this as well. Are you so good with all of this? Thank you. Oh, I'm a registered nurse and I'm impressed. Thank you, my love. I appreciate that. I do believe in the law of attraction. I don't know what the law of assumption is. Never heard about that. How do you become a moderator for your lives? Is a volunteer paid? No, it's volunteer, my love. No, it's volunteer. I just, I have, I have fans, people who show up every single one of my lives, and uh, they really take particular pride in being one of the people who helps keep this a safe environment for us. Uh, how do you go about asking your man to be more emotional with you? Uh, don't ask. Don't ask. Instead, get fixed that shit. Do everything that's in that book. What you create through these behaviors is emotional security. And then you do see them be more engaged with you because it's safer to do so. Now the question, this guy that I'm sort of seeing told me he liked his friend. He doesn't want to ruin his friendship. So you're chasing after somebody who has zero desire to be in a relationship with you and in fact is communicating that they want to be with someone other than you. So just be aware of that. What is your advice on disagreements in relationships about uh, where to live and moving? Um, that if you want to figure that out in your relationship, come get a, a coaching session. Um, in order to, you know, if, if you want help understanding what you should be compromising or how you should be communicating what it is that you want. I just need more information in order to help you navigate this because a question like this depends on the situations. Uh, can I find your book as a PDF? Uh, no, you can get them on ebook or paperback. Welcome back, Mama Queen. Hello. How do you deal with vomiters in your comments on videos? Uh, I, You know what, people can come and vomit. It's when they get disrespectful that I just go ahead and block them. You you can vomit, but you just, you just don't get to be a jerk. Walk through on ideas to satisfy all five love languages. Uh, so physical affection, just be petty, just be touchy. Like just, just any kind of touch. When there's like somebody who loves physical affection, any kind of touch is good touch. Um, gifts, it doesn't, it doesn't matter what the cost is. What matters is that you thought about them. Um, quality time really is about the quality of the time. So when you're with them, don't be on your phone. Words of affirmation, compliment their character. I, I'm so proud of how working you are. Uh, I really appreciate how good you are to me. You're such a good person. You're such a good man. You're such a good partner. I say to my husband, you're the best husband in the world. I last, I think it was last, yeah, last night I said to him, I go, uh, I go, I go, baby, am I the best wife in the world? And he went, yeah, I guess so. And I go, I go, that's why you're such a good match, baby, because you're the best husband in the world. Um, what is it? Words of affirmation, act, oh, acts of service. Um, even just saying, like if your partner's acts of service, just saying, is there something I can do for you today? Feels like a loving act when you do that. 
I've heard recently touch shouldn't be a love language because we need it to survive. Bullshit! 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 Some people are more affectionate. Some people are less affectionate. We need to be aware of people's levels of desire for affection. Do you think men in their older years want relationship? If they, yeah, I'm 61, so is my guy. There are young people who don't want relationships and old people who do want relationships. It's all about the individual. Words of affirmation and physical touch are my two worst love languages. What does this mean? What do you mean where it's like they score the lowest? Um, it, it just means you don't place much importance on them. Like my husband doesn't place much importance on words of affirmation. Thoughts on the silent treatment from your man and how to deal with it. So silent treatment is a, first of all, when you don't know what to say, say nothing at all right if you're angry say nothing at all so the silent treatment in some cases is simply functional so keep that in mind it's not always a dysfunctional tactic sometimes it is a functional tactic so if it's not being used to punish it's being used to be functional now this is a symptom of conflict if you remove the conflict you remove the symptom so instead of focusing on the symptom what i do but the symptom Remove the conflict, remove the sickness, and you won't have the symptom anymore. So get the conflict out of your relationship. You can have a zero fight relationship if you're with a generous long-term thinker who loves you and you do the right things. So get fixed that shit if you're with a generous long-term thinker who loves you to lead your relationship to somewhere where it's conflict-free. I need a glass of water. You guys are going to be back. Give me one second. And we're back. Hello, lovely. <clears throat> I know you get on live every day usually, but do you have a scheduled time or just whenever? So I, I do just whenever, but when I do that 12 week program, they will be scheduled. So I really do recommend you sign up for that 12 week to get five scheduled lives. There's gonna be more lives, I just, um, uh, you know, and the, there's probably going to be more scheduled lives than those fives that I'm talking about, but I just want to talk about the ones that for sure, for sure, for sure are going to be showing up. But I'm one of those people that like to, um, uh, what is it like undersell and over deliver. So, um, you know, I, I want you to know that for sure you're getting five scheduled lives a week with me. Two of them, we're going to do a workout together. One of them, we're going to cook together. One of them, we're going to talk about special topics together. And one of them, we're going to talk specifically about spirituality, meditation, manifestation, intention setting, um, resetting your thought process. So five scheduled lives that are addressing your physical body, your, your body's health, which affects your brain function, um, and then educating you and resetting your vibrations. Is a 12 week program something you pay for? Yes, it will be paid for, but I am gonna give you a 24 hour window where you can get it for half off. So there is a button in the link to my bio that says um, three month lifestyle membership. I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna rename it, but go hit that button, add your email address to that list. You're gonna get the countdown for the, the 24 hour window. I'm going to be feeding you some more uh, information about who the guests are going to be, the people who are going to be training us and teaching us, the classes I'm going to be launching. A lot of information is going to be coming down that pipeline. So do sign up for that mailing list so that you get this information and you have that countdown to get that 24-hour window to get half off for that membership. 
How do I know if he's a generous long-term thinker? You want to grab no more assholes and use the 12 character traits to compare him against and see what he scores out of 12. <clears throat> do you think, uh, right. Do, 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 do. Lovelies, who wants a notification when I go live? Say I do. Say I do. Mm. I think I'm getting at that time of day. People are getting home from work. They're pulling it in on my bandwidth. And uh, no, it doesn't say the cost. I haven't released the cost yet. Uh, if I can do it, I definitely want to. Just need to set money aside. Yes. Yeah. You, there's a lot of bang for your buck on this program. Definitely a lot of bang for your buck. Um, yeah, the, the discounts alone that you get for the upcoming classes that I'm gonna be releasing during that time and uh, the discounts on coaching sessions are going to outweigh what you're gonna pay. I have an, I have an idea, I haven't, I haven't solidified the cost for that yet because I'm still talking to experts um but uh the bonuses that i'm putting in are gonna outweigh what you're gonna pay if you take advantage of that 24-hour discount for sure advice on how to friend zone someone the right way uh breakup sandwich this is why you're great this is why it's not for me this is why you'll be great for someone else uh, okay, my loves, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Uh, now is the time for me to give this a break because um, I think my bandwidth is getting broken up. Uh, I love you. So during those three months, no kissing. What do I do? Like besides kissing. So affection. No kissing doesn't mean no affection. Do get no more assholes because you need to understand how to navigate those three months. What to look for. Those 12 character traits. Um, what is allowed during the no kissing, how you should be dating, how you should be seeing multiple people, the scripts that you need to navigate this. You're welcome. Enjoy your evening. I will, I will, I will. Um, I will, I'll be back later. You guys, you know I will because I never stay away for long. I love you. I will see you soon. Go sign up for that, uh, that three month lifestyle membership. Go add your, your email to that so that I know to let you know what's happening. Love you, queen. Thank you. You're so welcome. I'll see you soon. You know, I, I don't stay away for long. <laughs>